Oh, what is good? Oh, sorry. What is good? We're back. Duncan, baby, feels good. I got a little bit of a yam today. All right, so what is happening? I don't even know. All right, what's the deal? Okay, what? <laughs> All right, so today in the gym, I got asked by a hooper, how do I jump higher? I get this question so many times. <laughs> So in today's video, I'm going to tell you my response I give to every hooper I encounter that wants to learn how to get their hops up because they want to dunk in games just like myself. So let's go. So he had a pretty average athletic body. He wasn't too stocky. He wasn't too skinny. He had a very basketball friendly body. And my first question to him was, do you play often? Which to his response, he said, yes. And this is mostly what I see with a lot of hoopers is they play a lot of basketball, but they don't treat their jumping the same as their basketball. And yes, they're two different skills. But my first piece of advice I always give hoopers and that I use myself is to just start jumping consistently. I said it in my very first vlog, jump, jump, jump. But just like playing basketball, you have to push hard. You have to work on your handles. You have to work on your shooting. You have to work on your jumping just the same. Now, when it gets into really increasing your vertical jump, you want to be a pro dunker. You just want to max out your vertical that's a whole sport and what I mean by that is you don't even want to do cardio you don't even want to walk on your off days you don't even want to waste energy on your handles you want to just jump higher and there's that extreme there's nothing wrong with that it's just based on your goals for hoopers though I say jump add it to your routine every time you hoop try to push yourself a little harder to jump a little bit higher every time so say you hoop two three times a week maybe at the end of the session jump try to touch the rim he was almost dunking so i was telling him just push yourself try to get that first dunk and then keep going and the reason i say this is because a lot of times you're not maxing out your explosiveness in your current body so he's sprinting he's running but he's not pushing his full intensity max intensity jumping as much as he can so i say max out that tank push yourself little by little and then when you hit a wall because we all hit walls we only have a certain amount of potential in our bodies you gotta hit a strength phase now the big mistake another question I get is what if I'm playing when do I do the strength phase can I do it while I'm in season again a whole nother animal so what I tell hoopers or people in season is strength is for the off season because it is going to slow you down you got to think long term but the reason I bring up strength is because your muscles only have so much potential in them and when you get stronger you increase that potential for them to explode and produce more force you don't have to go hit the weight room and start going for bodybuilding contests and powerlifting contests but if you have all the time in the world like myself meaning like I don't not I don't have any competitions I'm not trying to play in a league or anything like that I don't need to be in basketball shape I can go in the lab and just get super strong my boy Nico does that Jordan Kilgannon does that a lot of people I know take months strictly strength with no jumping but you have to figure out what your goals are and figure out where you're at so you can work right now in this moment and get to work think long term put in the work Every single detail matters, it works on your body, and you have to start to learn how to stimulate your body for the correct response so you constantly make progress. Gotta give thanks, keep a sick of all the praise. Yo, the moment, can't forget while I'm in it. this is my song, so it better not get copyrighted. They got me past ass in these books with the mastery code. Ain't smashing these hoes. Rather make love than cut up these hoes. I'm laughing the jokes, got my ass in the flow. That's my life, ain't asking for more. Not a flash, I'm a glow, keep it fast that I grow. Living in the moment, leave the rest to unfold. Yeah, two legs in this bitch, you know I'd rather dunk than lay up. Lay up. Be the little kitty when I wake up. First thing I do is eat it up like a cake up. That's the way to start my day, a little nasty. Only you consume all the minimum fast things. Hit it for the bag now, that's fantastic. Well, you look like you play basketball. Yeah. A little bouncy today, feeling way better than last time. Progress, definitely better, which is exciting. Keep it super gradual. I'm gonna dunk on all of them.
Yo, they cleared out. They're so lucky, dude. I was ready to. Whoa. Try. So that's acceptable. Let's have a little fun. I'm gonna try to windmill. <laughs> So I hope that was helpful. Stay tuned for more dunk vlog. I'm back dunking. This is only my third day back from really jumping hard. Super excited. Super excited to get me. Super fucking excited. <laughs> Leave a comment what you want to see. Really helps me out. Create the most best content I could possibly make. Let's go, baby. Whatever. Dunk life. Also, just, just be a good person. It's pretty simple. <laughs>